technology in banking has disrupted development of products and their distribution. Most banks in Kenya today either have internet or mobile banking or both. Standard Chartered Bank is taking it a notch higher with the launch of a digital bank that allows customers to transact online. Yes, without the need to visit a physical branch. Let's put it on mobile and then work backwards and see so that because we know this is one gadget that our clients and indeed uh, a lot of uh, the world today, when you look at CCK's data, they tell us about 99.2 of, of Kenyans are today are connected. The bank is promising to make more strategic and sustainable investments in technology that will complement its innovation agenda as well as enhance digital offerings and client experiences. So everything you will ever think about doing in a bank is packed on this platform. So we are saying that you can transact, you can pay your bills, you can save, you can borrow, you can invest, and you can insure. Meanwhile, Barclays Bank of Kenya increased loans and advances by 9 billion shillings to 177.4 billion shillings in 2018. This, however, did not reflect on interest income that remained flat at 21.5 billion shillings. Increased lending also came to haunt the bank after gross non-performing loans and advances rose to 1.3 billion shillings to 13.9 billion shillings. Revenue growth is where we're facing the biggest challenge and it's not accidental. And especially when you look at interest income growth, which is typically the preserve of what banks are in place to, to, to do, revenue growth is a challenge. Um, and in many instances has been low single digits. And that's because... Um, there's a challenge in terms of deploying uh, liabilities into lending and making a suitable margin. With a cap on interest rates, Barclays Bank of Kenya steadily increased the amount it invested in government securities to 29.7 billion shillings, up from 9 billion shillings in 2017. This paid off after the lender booked 7.4 billion shillings in interest rates income from government securities, up from 5.7 billion recorded in 2017. If, if we see a situation whereby um, rates are dropping faster than banks can take out costs, then we're going to see a bit of a pullback on the revenue side. And I think that's a very real risk. The lender which recommended an interim dividend payout of 20 cents per share has proposed a final dividend of 90 cents per share. This means the bank will spend 4.88 billion shillings on dividend payout this year, just like was the case last year. In terms of the ratios, adequate ratios, be it on the side of core capital, uh, total capital ratios at 16.5, headroom of about 1.9, and you see that is basically coming down over the period. The reason to that is, be is simply because we are looking at the returns we are giving to our shareholders. Barclays Bank Kenya expects all its operations in Kenya will change to APSA Group Limited by end of 2019. Alan Aoko reporting for Channel One Business.